Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Catherine Herr. We begin with the latest on the huge oak fire burning in Mariposa County. All new numbers tonight. Some good news, some bad. The fire now more than 18,824 acres. Containment is also growing. It's now at 36%. More homes and structures are confirmed destroyed. A total of 100 buildings. That includes 63 homes and 37 outbuildings. The number of structures that are threatened is way down, now at 676. Nearly 4,000 firefighters are on the scene. Containment is now expected on this fire on August 6th. And we have live team, cover team coverage tonight. Evacuees hoping to return to their homes. And more on a slight dip in triple digit temperatures fueling the fire. We begin with CBS 47's Catherine Phillips with the latest on the fire lines. Oak fire's growth continues to slow down as the fire burns for another day. And fire officials say they are making good progress on the fire. However, if you drive through the areas damaged by the Oak Fire, you can see just how much destruction was really done. As fire crews keep working the Oak Fire. A cloud of smoke from the destructive flames still hang over the hills of Mariposa County. Oak Fire Public Information Officer Joe Amador says with around 4,000 firefighters assigned to the incident, they're making good progress getting the fire under control. Well, we've had a pretty good day despite, uh, you know, the extreme conditions, the hot weather, a little bit of wind and the uh, relative humidity being low. We've had a good day. Amador says they're using all the tools they can to put out what's currently the largest fire burning in California. Uh, a lot of hand crews trying to make their way up to uh, higher portions of the fire and also so because of the weather permit, permitted us, we we're also flying a lot of aerial operations. But the fire has been destructive, damaging and destroying homes and other buildings in the fire's path. Many people were able to go back to their homes as the sheriff's office reduced many more fire evacuation orders down to advisory warnings. In the next few days, Amador says they're going to continue to work the flames, put resources where they're needed, and try to limit any more devastation for the people of Mariposa. Hope that we continue the progress and the containment goes up and the acreage stays a little bit low. There will be a community meeting Thursday night at the Mariposa County High School gym at 7 o'clock. Reporting in Mariposa, Catherine Phillips, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.